Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever and wherever you are watching this video from. Welcome to Gnostic Academy. In this video, I'm going to solve this past paper question one. So I'm going to solve this algebraic question and then also uh, this geometric progression question. Okay, so we're going to cover one, two, three, A, B, and C questions. Okay, then from there, we will proceed to other questions. Now, if this is the first time being on this channel, please consider subscribing and also liking the video. This is the only way you can help the channel grow. And you yeah, are also being recommended, be recommended to other viewers. Thank you so much. Let's get started. So the first one is an algebraic question. This is question 1a. Okay, question 1a. And this question we are told to simplify this question. So, so this is like this. a squared x squared uh, minus b squared y squared over ax plus byt by. So such questions you need to be very careful because here when if you look carefully we only have one term we only have one term and that term is divided by uh, this so what you do is you 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 factorize okay when you look at the top here we have nothing in common but everything is squared and there is a minus here so that means that this is a co uh, difference of two squares. This can be written as a x plus b y okay difference of two squares open bracket um the remaining a then you have x in this case plus minus not plus minus b b y close bracket okay this is like this if you have a squared minus b squared this can be also can also be written as the a plus b a minus what minus b okay so this is the same way we've done here so the whole of it over ax now here he, um, on the denominator here we don't have what is common so it will just be ax plus b y the way it is now you check, do we have what is common on top and on the bottom here? What is uh, common? Yes, we have this term, uh, uh, this, then this part. So we're remaining with AX minus BY. And this is the answer. It is as simple as this. Okay, AX minus BY. Let's go to the th second question, which is the geometric what? Geometric progression. Geometric progression. Geometric progression. We are told to. We are given the first three terms. Then we are asked to. So this is question B1. Uh, B1, yes. So we are given the first three terms as 4, 2, and 1. Then we are asked to find the seventh term. Since this is geometric progression, the nth term of a GP, the nth term of a GP is given by the formula Tn is equals to Tn is equals to Ar to the power n minus 1. n is the number of terms. A is the first term, R is the common ratio. Now, do we know the first term? Yes, the first term is 4. Now, do we know N? Yes, we are told that you need to find the seventh term. So, N is Ubiwati is 7. Okay? N is, is 7. Okay. So, what is R? R is the common ratio, which is T2 divided by T1. The second term here is 2, so you can just say 2 over the first term, 4. When you reduce 
this one will be 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2. Therefore, the common ratio is half, 1 over what? 1 over 2. So we are going to work with this data. Let's substitute. Okay? So Tn is what? 7 term number 7 is equals to first term is 4. Then open bracket, common ratio is 1 over what? 1 over 2, close bracket like this, to the power 7, n is 7, minus, minus 1, like this. Okay? 7 minus, minus 1. Okay? So now, T7 is equals to 4. We can't multiply here because this half inside here is raised to the power. So don't make that mistake. Okay, so what you can do here is just subtract on top there 1 over 2, 7 minus 1 is what? 6. Okay, so T7 is equals to, so we need to find, so listen, everything here inside here is just the power 6. Okay, so this one can be also can be written as 4, open bracket, 1 to the power 6 over 2 to the power T the power 6 like this this is what it means okay and 1 raised to the power any number is just 1 over now what is 2 2 to the power what 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 6 is 60 what 64 okay then 4 into 4 1 4 into 64 is what 16 okay 16 so here is one here is what 16 okay so not 16 sorry so one times um, one is one so we remain with one over what one over 16 not just 16 it's one over 16 is a fraction term number seven is one over what 16 okay so that's the answer now Let's go to the second question here. We are asked to find the sum of the first nine terms. Sum of the first nine, what? Nine terms. So, so question B2, the formula is Sn, okay, Sn is equals to A, open bracket, 1 minus R squared to the power N, over 1 minus what? Minus R. Okay, like this. Then you ask yourself, what is the value of A? The value of A is what? It's 4. What is the value of R? The common ratio we've already found half, 1 over 2. What is the value of N? We are told to find the sum of the first term in terms. 9 terms. So the value of the value of Rn is what? Is 9. Okay? 9. So we substitute this one with what? N with 9. Then let's substitute that data here. Okay? So we're going to say S9 is equals to the first term is 4, open bracket, 1 minus. R is half, like this, 1 over 2, to the power N, which is 9, okay, divided by 1 minus R, which is the common ratio, and the common ratio is just half, like this, okay, so solve this first, okay, so this one is 1 to the power 9 over 2 to the power 9. Okay, so just deal with 2 to the power, 2 to the power 9. Alright, 2 to the power 9. So this one will be 4, open bracket, 1 minus 1 to the power 9 is 1. 2 to the power 9 is what? 512. Okay, like this, over 1, 1 minus half. It's half. Okay, 1 minus half is half, so we have uh, 0 0.5 or just half like this, 0 0.5.
Now, look at this. When you subtract here, this is 1 over 500, uh, 512. So you do calculations, 1 minus this. So since this is paper 2, use a calculator to do everything. Okay, so as a decimal, it's giving me 4, open bracket, 1 minus 0 0.9980. Six eight seven five seven five okay seven five like this and divided by you know what that thing one over two is zero point what zero point five is equals to and then when you subtract there minus one we're going to have four open bracket zero point zero zero one nine five three one two five two five okay over zero point five so here we can just divide okay you can divide or multiply first whichever way you are going to you're going to use okay so if you divide you multiply this times this and divide here so we're going to have so this is giving me 0 0.015625 now changing this one to a fraction so as a fraction is 1 over 60 what 1 over 64 so that's the answer so that is that is question, question B here, B up to here. So let's solve question C. Let's find the geometric mean of 196 and 5, 15,625. Let's solve that one quickly. So the geometric mean, uh, geometric mean of any numbers, if you have any sequence A in the form of A, B, and C, uh, to find the geometric mean, the geometric mean, this is the B, the geometric mean. So it will be B is equals to the square root of A times what? Times C. So this is the formula we are going to use even here. Okay. So we are asked to find the geometric mean of two numbers. So let's use this uh, uh, formula. Okay. So let's say B is equals to. So our A it will be 160, so the square root of 196, I mean, multiplied by 15,625. Okay, when you multiply 169 times 15,625, we're going to have, we're going to have, okay, so this is giving me the square root of 3 million, 62,500 okay like this so let's find the square root of this what of this C number okay of 3 million 62,500 it's, it's giving me 1750 as the geometric mean so this is the answer okay so it's as simple as this that is the answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and like the video.